One of the most common questions I get asked is, Dan, how do I actually get started developing a video game? You have an idea for a fantastic game, but are not sure how to take it from concept to release. If this is you, you're in luck, because that is exactly what I'll be answering in today's video. The first thing you need to do is to pick a game engine. A common mistake is to spend weeks picking a game engine and not getting on with development. You need to understand that broadly speaking, you can achieve great results regardless of the engine you choose. However, the speed at which you are able to get these results varies depending on the game engine used. If you're a new game developer and want to get started quickly with a lightweight engine, I would personally suggest that you use Unity. It is free to use and relatively easy to understand. Unity uses the programming language C Sharp, which is a simple object-oriented language with a significant support base online. To install Unity on your computer, you need to download and install Unity Hub. From there, you can select a version you want to install along with the extension packages. Once you've installed Unity, you need to pick an IDE or Integrated Developer Environment, which is where you'll type your code. I use Visual Studio 2017, but any version will work. You can use Visual Studio Code or Mono Developer. Before we go any further, please remember to hit that subscribe button and like this video in order to see more content like this. Okay, so you've installed Unity. What next? The next step before you can do any game developing is to gather your assets. My preference for assets is to use a combination of custom assets such as music, along with assets from the Unity Asset Store. But here's the thing, I always make sure to edit them in a tool such as Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop due to the cost, you can use Photopea, as it's basically the same thing, but online and free. Just as crucial is establishing the art style of your game. Do you want low poly, stylized or photorealistic graphics? If it's your first game, I suggest making a low poly or stylized game, as these are the simplest to make and don't require extensive usage of tools such as Substance 3D. Once you've got the basic style of the game and the assets nailed, it's essential that you get to understand the programming fundamentals of Unity. You can use the tools such as Playmaker or Bolt if you don't want to learn how to code. Keep in mind that you will still need to learn these and to many people, they can be more confusing than coding. When I first learned C Sharp, I used YouTube videos, Udemy courses and Unity documentation. Whilst these are great, it's very hard to find tailor-made solutions that actually work when you implement them. That's why it's so important to make use of AI when developing your game. Tools such as ChatGPT can cut the amount of time it takes to use simple tasks in Unity significantly and help to drastically speed up the development of your game. During the development process of your game, you'll probably find it difficult to stay motivated and at times you'll hate what you are working on. So cut your game idea in half and then in half again. If you set out to achieve the next AAA game when you don't even have the skills required, it's highly unlikely that you will be able to finish your project. I'm not even going to mention marketing your game in this video, as I've done a whole video on that, which I will link in the top right hand corner now. So there you have it, a simple step-by-step -step guide to actually getting started developing your next game. Please remember to like and subscribe to see more great content like this.